by Hyundai. We take a look at the game summary here. Johnny Brito goes nearly six innings, allowing four hits, those two runs, strikes out two and walks two. Josh Donaldson with the solo homer, all the Yankees offense. And that was the focus with Meredith Morakovic's first question with Aaron Boone. Aaron, slow night for the offense tonight. Uh, just what did you think overall of the ad bad quality? Well, first off, I, th I thought uh, I thought Blackburn did a good job, and we knew he was throwing the ball pretty well coming in. Um, so he didn't he didn't make a lot of mistakes. Obviously, JD really got into a hanger. I think Giancarlo got one when we had the runner at second the first time. He got a, I thought a good pitch to hit there with two strikes and and swung through it. Um, we had a couple chances, but again, just not creating enough uh, opportunities for ourselves to break through and. Um, you know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get a little more consistent. You've spoken a lot about Donaldson over the last couple days. Just to see him get a hold of one, hit a mistake pitch like that. What could that do for him moving forward and potentially jump starting him a little bit? Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, it's definitely good to see him. You know, really get into one, and especially in a low-scoring tight game. You know, so um, look, I think he's in a pretty good place with, you know, where he's at and. You know he's he's got a lot of confidence because he's capable of that right there. So um, yeah, I mean hopefully it is something that you know kind of jump starts him this week a little bit and and uh, but you know we all gotta you know we all gotta you know pull our weight and and, and get it going a little more offensively. Good note, Anthony Volpe tonight with those hits and using his speed to get that last one. Yeah. Um, you know, last week, I mean, you really dig in. Anthony's a lot, a lot of good at bats. Um, you know, he's been getting, you know, more hits, but hitting the ball on the nose. Even, you know, his first A-B today lines out to the second baseman. Um, so I feel like he's he's making some good, solid adjustments. Um, you know, so it's, it's good to see him trending, I feel like, in a good way right now. Aaron, I think it was in the... Seventh, fifth, actually, um, the seventh Volpe was, was stealing. Trevino swung at the first pitch. Does he need to give him more of an opportunity to steal a bag there? I mean, it's one where you know it was pretty looked like a good jump. That's one if you recognize that as a hitter, you know you'd like to see him hold off there. I don't know if the pitch up, he was trying to check his swing and he just he got a piece of it. But it, it's one of those if you do and you don't always do it. But if you're as a hitter, if you are able to see that kind of a jump, you know, yeah, you'd love to see him. Uh, you know, be able to steal that base there. What did you think of Brito? I thought Johnny was good again. Um, you know, two runs there, you know, into the sixth inning. Um, you know, he did his job. And, uh, you know, I thought he, had, uh, again, acquitted himself really well and, and gave us a chance to win a ball game. Aaron, what's your frustration level watching this offense in the last couple of weeks? I don't know. I mean, it's like, no, this is this is part of it. It's grind time, you know. Like we got to get some guys going, and we're all we're all part of that. So, you know, uh, I don't know if frustrations are like we know we know we have a higher standard and and expect more and know we're going to be better. But we're going through it right now a little bit. Overall, this month we've had a few guys that you know have gone through some struggles. But you know. I wouldn't call it frustration. I'd call it like this is, you know, get to work time and, you know, how do we get guys going? And, and that's on all of us. Aaron, you talk about that high standard and, and guys pulling their weight. And you look at the month of June. Is it almost head scratching to you knowing some of the talent that's in that lineup that they haven't been able to put it together and, and click consistently? Yeah, I mean, look, I know what these guys are capable of. So anytime you go through a long stretch, you know, where, where you're having a hard time scoring runs, look, again, we know what's going to happen, whether it's for a couple weeks here or there, or, or you know, you're going to have a, your up swings and down swings. But knowing, you know, what we have going out there, um, you know, I know what they're capable of. So we got to keep, keep working to get them to, to, to where we need to be because we know we're capable of scoring a lot of runs. So, what was your argument with Guccione on the Kenley in the play? The, well, the ball came out. So unless you deem him circumventing the rules to do that, like life happens and you shouldn't get penalized for, you know, dropping a ball. Like that should, to me, that should be a reset unless you think Tommy's doing it on purpose, which clearly he wasn't. So that's, you know, that's something I'll ask, ask the league about. But I don't think... I mean, I've seen that happen before, you know, where whatever, something happens that's on accident that stops, 
should stop the clock, in my opinion. But I got to find out. I got to get clarity on that. Carlo got that 3 0 count in the eighth, uh, and then wasn't able to take advantage. Do you, do you feel like he's still kind of working through some things in the play right now? Yeah, we've said that, you know, and he said that, you know. So I, I thought his first swing or his first at bat, he got the right swing off on a ball he hit in the air, like felt like he was on time for that. Um, and then in his next at bat, again, I thought he got a good pitch to hit there. Might even been on 3-2 of the runner on second. He got a hanger. And I felt like, you know, just from the side, he was on time, but he swung through it. That You know, that's a pitch when he's going well that's in the seats. So... Um, you know, he's working to get there. I do feel like he's closer than where he was three, four, and five days ago. Um, but, but no, he's, he's working to get there. Early on in that discussion, the manager talked about Anthony Volpe, Jack, and he was a guy that you wanted to see start to turn things around. He did that tonight, had three hits, first three-hit game of his career. It could have been four, hit the ball on the screws, too, and it was right at Tony Kemp. Right, so in all four at-bats, he hit the ball hard, and I think the thing to notice about three of those at-bats is hitting the ball either to the center of the field or to the opposite field. Yankee hitting coach Dylan Lawson has talked a lot about players picking up the ball earlier out of the pitcher's hand. That pitch recognition allows you to decide what you're going to do when you're at bat. And I could see with Volpe trying to go the other way tonight. Of course, he got his final hit by using his speed, his legs to keep that game alive. And Chris, you talk about hurdles as a young player. 203 might not sound like much. That's what he's hitting right now after a 12 for 35 stretch. He had not had an average as high as 203 since May 24. Fourth. So on a night where the Yankees are going to lament that they had no offense and that they lost to the A's, one thing they can grab out of this game is that Volpe seems more comfortable at the plate and is definitely getting better results. He's